I'm here with Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin, Triple G. He is 37-0 with 33 KOs, and he is the IBO, IBF, WA, and WBC middleweight champion of the world. He will fight Saul Canelo Alvarez this September 16th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And it could be the fight that is one of the ones that will define his legacy. Is this the most important fight in your career, Gennady? And is this the most difficult challenge you will face? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. This is my best fight, my biggest fight, my biggest opponent. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. Before um, your last fight with Danny, you had knocked out 23 opponents dating back to November 2008. But Danny Jacobs took you 12 hard, 12 competitive rounds. Did you learn a lot about yourself in that fight that you can take into this difficult challenge against Canelo? Yeah, I learned. I learned. I learned 12 rounds. You know, it's a huge experience for me because this is my first fight, 12 rounds. And so right now, with Canelo, it's a different story. It's a new story. You know, Canelo, he's not Daniel. So what kind of a challenge does Canelo bring to the table? What do you have to be wary about? You know, I know Canelo a long time. You know, he's a very good fighter. He's very strong, very smart, very... He is star. You know, he has big boxing IQ. Right now, this fight, you know, for us, huge because who win, power for power, or number one in the world. That's right. Will it, will it define your legacy, Gennady? Will it get you where you want to be, that recognition? You know, you, you've, you've blazed the trail in, in, in your career, but will this fight define, will it get you to the top of the mountain? Yes, right, absolutely it is. You know, I believe this is my first step for history. To history, you know, just uh, maybe not one fight, maybe second step, maybe a rematch, or maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe only one fight. Now, you guys sparred in 2011. Obviously, it was a long time ago. It was a 20-year-old Canelo. You were uh, a different fighter then than you are now. But did you learn anything from that that you can channel uh, before you go to training camp or while you're in camp? Yes, I remember. I remember you know, my time. I'm very enjoying this time because, you know, because boxing, my spark with Canelo is like a, like a first class, you know, champ with champ, you know. Is I'm very enjoying this time, and this is sparring. Sparring is different. Sparring is not fight. You know. That's very true. Yeah, I help him. He helped me. You know, it's different time. Like five, six years ago, he is not. He is different than Ella. Of course. You know, and right now he brings more experience, more power, more older, more smart. It's right now is a different story. Did you learn anything from his fight against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. or was it too one-sided to take anything out of it? Not a lot, not a lot because, yeah, I respect Julio Chavez Jr., you know, I respect him, you know, he last two, three years he lost time, you know, he lost time, he's nothing. And Canelo, he looks great with him, he brings more energy, more power, more stability, you know, and Right now, fight with me, this is different. You're 35, he's 26. Do you think that Team Canelo think now is the time to fight you? Are you the same fighter you were two years ago? Have you changed? Do you bring the same things to the table? Yeah, you know, I feel good. I feel very good. Yeah, right. For right now, for me, like 35 years is old. And I don't feel my finish. You know, I feel my power, I feel my speed, I feel my everything. I think it's amazing time for us. And tell me, um, do you work with a nutritionist? Uh, now at 35 is making the weight, making 160. Has that got difficult as you've got that little older or how do you manage that? I don't feel right now, maybe, you know. And I had my last fight, I had 12 rounds. I feel it's good, I believe I'm ready for next 12th round. So um, what would be your message to fans who are going to be tuning in on September 16th? It's, it's the fight that you've wanted for a while, it's the name you've wanted, and you know what are you going to do on the night? Uh, what do you want to say to your fans? Please watch my fight, please watch. Don't lose 
September 16, you know, because everybody understands this is the biggest fight for boxing, for sport, and of course for business. And now that you mentioned that, just a word about the sport itself. Uh, your fight with Canelo, it's a two-weight world champion against one of the most dangerous fighters on the planet and proven champion. How important is it for the sport of boxing that two well-matched fighters with nearly 90 professional fights between them fight finally for what, for what the fans want, but fight and do something really positive for the sport? It's very important for us, well, not for us and for people to, to boxing. You know, right now we have amazing time for history. It's history fight, and you know, I know my situation. I'm a champion, and Canelo, he's huge fighter. He's hero, national hero. You know, I don't know who is number two, two number three, number four. I don't know who st stay close with us. You know, it's amazing for sport, to sport, to people. You know, um, right now it's an amazing time. And just one question about your physical conditioning. When you go to Big Bear, you, you, you run the miles in the morning. Do you do a lot of gym work or how do you kind of physically prepare outside of drills in the ring and sparring? You know, my coach Abel Sanchez, he brings every day new, new ideas. You know, every day change, every time. You know, every day like first day. You know, I like him, you know, I like his style. I, I have a lot of exercise, mm -hmm. I don't know, just every day is different. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, Gennady Golovkin, we wish you the best of luck. We'll be watching on your fight against Canelo and uh, the best of luck in camp and the best of luck on the night. Thank you very much. Thank you.